Hi there, a really quick video on how to configure the FSR 500 throttle, uh, the different options for getting it into beta range. Okay, in the cockpit, quite simply, there, here's the throttle in the idle position. I'm in lock mode, just that helps you see what's going on. And if I highlight it, I can click and drag and drag it down. Simple. And there is a, a detente that I'll click into. Second option, highlight it. I'm not clicking, but I'm using my mouse wheel to move it backwards and forwards. Remember, you're only using beta and reverse on the ground. So these aren't so difficult if it's non-critical phases of flight for taxiing and getting it set just right for your taxi speed. It works quite well. If you want to use it on an Axis uh, without using any specialist driver software, uh, then there's a way of doing it. So let's go to Control Options. And I'm using a Honeycomb Bravo. I've got a profile set up here, FSR 500. I'm going to um, show all so what you'll do is go to all power management throttle okay and then first of all we're going to select throttle axis we're going to start scanning and now i'm going to operate the axis that i want which is the first one on the honeycomb bravo Okay, so we'll validate that. We'll unreverse it. And then as I push it, that's that bound. Okay, and then that'll give us our normal range of the throttle. So from the idle detente through to maximum, all forward thrust. But we want to get beta and reverse, and that's accessed via reverse thrust in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So again, click on that, toggle reverse, uh, toggle throttle reverse thrust action click on the search now what i'm going to do on the honeycomb bravo is i'm going to push my access lever down to the bottom and that as you see triggers joystick button 24. i'm going to take it out of that so it's no longer flashing okay and then it's on release will work better uh, except it uh, <laughs> when it does that it uh, clears your current input so will hit search again joystick button 24 i mean you could just select joystick button 24 from the drop down there okay so it's on release validate but here's the thing there's a bug in microsoft flight simulator every time you do validate it actually doesn't register so you just have to go back in select on release again validate it again and if we check now yeah that's registered uh it's stuck so we'll just click validate again and that will give us uh I'll just hit apply and save, go back uh, and resume our flight. Now, okay, we're back in the cockpit. So I'm just pushing my hardware axis lever forward from the detente through to the maximum. As you can see, that's the throttle responding normally. Okay, and now I'm gonna pull the, um, the throttle down through the detente uh, to activate that button which I've done, I pressed it and brought the the lever back up to the idle position. Now, as I push the axis forward, the throttle goes into reverse. To come out of that, again, back down to the idle detente, drop the lever down to press the button and bring it back up in one sort of quick movement, but not too quick. You want the button to register. And now I'm back into normal throttle range. Uh, those are your main options. You, other than that, you can use key, key actual keystrokes like um, decrease thrust command uh, bound to a key or a button, and you can take it down in increments. That will work as well. And then your other options after that are to use SPAD next or Axis and O's. And if you want to do that, I recommend you read Annex B of the FSR 500 manual. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps answer your questions.